Cynet is an academic high-performance computing consortium. It's one of seven such consortia in Canada, and Cynet is comprised of the University of Toronto and the affiliated research hospitals, and our mission is to provide high-performance computing resources for all the researchers at University of Toronto, and in fact, researchers across the country as well. We had two types of clusters that we wanted to acquire in order to solve two fairly different classes of problems. We knew that we needed a lot of storage, and we obviously also needed a data center. One of the major problems that's going to be investigated at Cynet is the whole issue of climate change and global warming, and so therefore it was imperative from Cynet's perspective that we be as energy efficient as possible so that we're contributing minimally to that problem. If you take that traditional, you know, fairly good data center, 33% of the energy that's going into it is being used for things like cooling. In the case of the Cynet data center, that number is significantly less than 20%. Now, the Cynet IT, or computer load, is expected to be about 2 megawatts. So it means that in a year, the difference between that traditional design and the, the Cynet design works out to roughly um, 6,000 megawatts a year. So that's actually roughly about what it takes to power 700 homes for a year. People have become much more conscious of the energy usage in high performance computing, in fact in computing in general. And so there's been much more emphasis now on designing servers that are energy efficient and what I think we at Cynet and in collaboration with IBM have done is that we've tried to take it another step further and look at integrating the computers and the data center together because that's the only way that you can really drive down your use power usage is if you design the data center properly from the beginning for the equipment that's going to house. I think Cynet could be almost the poster child for the IBM Smarter Planet program. The data center and the equipment in it have been designed from the very beginning to be as smart and as energy efficient as possible. IBM understood what it was that Cynet wanted to do. They understood that Cynet wanted to build a state-of-the-art computing center and that Cynet had to minimize capital and operating costs at the same time. So IBM's iDataplex solution offered Cynet some significant advantages. Uh, in particular, the iDataplex design allows you to fit uh, twice as many servers into the same amount of floor space. And the design also minimizes power usage. And that in addition to that, those basic design features, there's also a water-cooled rear door on the iDataplex racks, which removes all the heat that the racks produce and it gives us a very efficient way of cooling the racks and it also allows for more flexibility in the design of the data center or the machine room itself. The Cynet deployment will be the first time that the IBM iDataplex has been used in a large high-performance computing facility. So it will be the largest high-performance computing iDataplex installation. It will also be one of the first large installations with the new Nehalem architecture CPU from Intel. The other cluster that was acquired by Cynet is a Power6 system. This is based on IBM's CPU and this is an extremely large 104 node cluster. We've probably recognized a savings of about 15 to 20 percent as compared to a traditional uh, reasonably well-designed data center. That's about uh, $300,000 a year in operating costs. We certainly hope that the Cynet resources are going to attract people uh, to Toronto and to the hospitals. Having access to a system that's in the top 20 in the world is extremely exciting for a large number of researchers and this gives them a leg up on the competition. I think the Cynet model is going to be very useful and perhaps more commonly employed going forward because what we did was that we closely integrated the design of both the data center and the choice of the high-performance computing that it was going to house. 
and given the increasing huge power demands of these high performance computing systems, this is going to be the only way that people are able to optimize the uh, energy efficiency of their data centers and their computing equipment. The top 500 list is a list that's published twice a year of the top 500 supercomputers in the world. The IBM Power 6 system that was installed in November at Cynet placed number 53 in the world on that list. We expect that the new cluster from IBM, the iDataplex with the new Intel Nehalem architecture, will place hopefully in the top 20 on that list. The relationship between Cynet and IBM has been excellent. We've had a very good working, collaborative type relationship where they make design choices, they discuss them with us, we go back and forth on the, the actual design of the data center and of the equipment that's going to be in it. And all this has happened remarkably quickly. 